Hello everybody and welcome back. We are doing another show today. We're at Kelsall Hill Equestrian Centre. Me and Baby Dill. We're just about to go and walk course for McAllister's class. I've put him in the 80 and it's in the indoor, which will be quite exciting to see how they go. <laughs> what do you think, Dill? What do you think? Yep. <laughs> we need to get some tack on you, boy. You're so handsome. Not as handsome as you. Right. Tack. Let's go. So you could say that I was eliminated and you probably should say that, but I carried on jumping and he's going so much better. Apart from this double, he chips in two strides because he was looking at it and just demolishes the entire thing. So sorry to the arena party for having to cope with this, but look, I mean, he's flying along now. He progressed so much by just keeping going. If I'd have left the ring, that would have just been a totally wrong thing to do. So. Yes, it was against the rules and I should hang my head in shame, but it was for the greater good. Look at him now, coming into the last. What a boy. Flying. There we are. Good boy. Really spooky, but completely different atmosphere to what he's used to. I'm very proud of him. Outfit check. <laughs> it has to be one of the nicest show centres around here, doesn't it? Kelso Hill. It's all new recommend and it. so fancy. Would recommend. <laughs> this one, dressed for sun, did not get the sun, and also we're indoors. So I wasn't going to tan either way. No, there were no tans to be had. I don't know, where are we going? Let's be professional, let's go and get on. Yeah. Go Mr. Jones, go!
Let's jump down. How'd it go? That was really good. So again, I was coming into this first fence and he was really spooky, so I tapped him and he jumped it massive. This inside turn was not planned. But sometimes you just gotta deal with the lemons that you get. And then clattered that one. Clattered fence three as well. He just wasn't picking up behind. I think there was so much else going on, so many other things to think about. The back legs didn't even get considered for a second. But I think, okay, that one was pretty bad. But after that point, I think we're clear now. Yeah, well done, Mr. Jones. Lovely, lovely job. Good shot to that, well done. So I think, as you can see from both of their rounds, it was so educational for them. There was a huge difference the second half to the first half. And that's what it's all about at this stage, is as long as they are willing to learn, that's all you really want. Well, it's all I really want. Lovely, over the last. Well, Mr. Jones, he was so lovely. He jumped that amazingly. I think <laughs> he probably knocked about four fences down, but he learned so much as he went. He unseated me over the first fence because he jumped it mahoosive. But you know what? I've never feel a horse feel as up for the game as he was. He was loving it. And I mean, I was on a few misses and he was still taking me. I think we need to work on his counter, like just getting him traveling. But other than that, I mean, he was absolutely mustard, I would say. What did you think, Isla? He was very good. Great potential. Loads of potential. Loads of potential. All potential. Of potential. We are, we are. Look at this for a venue. So the indoor is that white building there. That's the warm up for it. Then you've got a lovely outdoor arena. Nice little farm ride. And the cross country schooling. Famous event rider here, everybody. The sun's come out and I'm absolutely roasting now. Ugh, I just, Mr. Jones just gives you such a good feeling. McAllister too, but. Mr. Jones is fresh on the brain because I've just finished on him. Well, I'm just walking him round. But he was absolutely amazing. I think him and I were just sort of, we're quite a good map. I mean, touch wood, I hope this all lasts. Because, you know, things change overnight with horses. We could hate each other tomorrow. But we just seem quite well suited, as in we're both quite petite, but both a little bit chunky. Yeah, he was just so good. He was really trying for me. Um, I was giving him the best chance that I could but I'm not the best rider in the world. Of course, I was gonna have a few little whoopsies um, and he still sorted it out. And uh, a friend was watching and he, he even commented um, how much he progressed through the round and how much he taught himself. He's just, yeah, really good. So the first fence nearly jumped me straight off. He jumped it massive because we had a great count coming into it. And then as we were getting closer, he was just sort of looking at it. So I tapped him on the shoulder and then he flung himself into the air, really got some height. And I lost my stirrup, landed and I was like, woo! And then just had to keep him coming. And then he was looking at the second one, but not as much. And then looking at the third one a little bit, but not really. And by the time we got to the fourth fence, he was absolutely flying along. I thought he might struggle with the one strider different, uh, <laughs> with the one strider distance, number seven, I think because he's got quite a petite little stride and he's not used to like stretching himself out and using his body. But actually he coped so well. And that was 90 centimeters, which is the biggest he's jumped at a show, I think, unless I jumped him that height at Tushingham, in which case ignore me. But it was just leagues and leagues above Tushingham. I mean, he went into the arena and he was like spooking, not spooking, but he was looking at everything, all the fillers, all the jumps, all the flowers, even someone's sandwich on the side he was looking at. And to go and jump round like that, what a future superstar. Oh no, he has spotted them. 
field full of cows. That's not what you want to see after you've just done a lovely round jumping. Let's, let's not even bother. Let's turn around and go back to McAllister, who will be patiently waiting for us on the horse box. Isla's gone to get Baby Dill out, so no one worry about him overheating. That dog will always be okay. What a beautiful day. And this place, I mean, this is probably in a car you could do this in 35, 40 minutes. In the horse box, I was driving slow because I had both of them on it. And it took 45 minutes to get here. But it was all nice big roads. So on that basis, Kelsall, 10 out of 10, we'll be revisiting. Hi, viewers. Welcome. We're just getting food. some food. Ran. Some food. Ran it. Roast and hot. Shorts. You bullied me earlier, but didn't bully her. You did. did not bully her. You did. Isla. Hi. Big question is, glasses off. What are we gonna eat? What are we gonna eat? Who knows? What have we got? What culinary delights? Oh. Got such a drill over there. Well, we're all done. We are going home. That was actually my favourite venue that I've been to for ages. Very nice. Very, very nice. Isla G says it herself. Very good. We're going to go home and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> also, we were just saying, I saw one of my friends and I was like, and then I realised I do wave like a five year old. Sorry, not sorry. It's what it is. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au <laughs> revoir. Just like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye, babes. Bye.